I made some barbecue sauce from scratch the other day and honey shot. I just had to come out my bag and make these short ribs so I can use my sauce. So let's get started. So in this bowl, I have some short ribs. It's only four of them. If you're cooking for a family, you already know you could double, you could triple. I'm using my spicy girl. You already know that's all I'm using these days because <laughs> you know, it's bomb. But anyway, I also have some cilantro and some salt. So you just want to season this up. All right, so to my short ribs, you want to add your spicy girl. If you ordered this up, you're gonna be killing it with this recipe. If you miss the orders and I sold out, I'll be back June 15th. You wanna add some salt and cilantro. You need to season this because it's going in the oven. I'm making a foil packet and it's going in the oven so you really wanna season the meat. You can't fix it afterwards, so season your short rib. I wanna, I'm, let me add some more just in case, all right. Oh, I also have some red onions and I use orange and green peppers. You can use whatever peppers you want. You can even add other vegetables or potatoes, but you guys know short ribs take a while to cook. So I didn't want to put any potatoes or anything in there. I just wanted the peppers. Oh, this smells good. Wait till y'all see this get hit with my barbecue sauce. Look how gorgeous this is. How gorgeous is she? Now, let me give y'all a close-up. Y'all need a close-up. Yes! Period. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to form my foil packet, and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. All right, y'all, I have two strips of foil down. Now, I'm also going to put some parchment paper. Boom. We're going to put it all down in here. All right, so you're just going to put your short ribs. Doesn't matter the order. All right, simple. You're just going to just fold. Just fold. It's not rocket science. There's no perfect way to do it. And that's it. I'm going to put it on a baking sheet and pop it in the oven 375 degrees until they're nice and tender. All right, y'all. So let's take a look. See, this is mine's after 90 minutes. Y'all, look how, oh my God, look. It came right off the bone. Look at that. Look at that. I can't even tell y'all how this smell right now, but we're not even done. All right, so now, as you can see, I drained off some of the liquid out of there. I also ripped off some of the aluminum and the parchment. And you want to take that amazing barbecue sauce. Mmm. Yes, I'm going to pop this right back in the oven for like five or ten minutes just to tighten this up. But this barbecue sauce did not come from a can, guys. Mmm. -mm. It could be right in your kitchen if you go watch that video. Go watch that video, make this sauce. Okay, that's enough thumbnail action. Like I said, I have my lettuce. Have some tea. And look at the pe y'all. Y'all be playing. Y'all need to y'all play too much. Y'all not trying my recipes. Y'all play too much. Look at this. Mm. Y'all talked about me in my last video, so I'm chewing my mouth open, so I got to chew first. Y'all, this shit is good as hell. Look at this skin. 
Let me cover my mouth. Thank you, Jesus, for this skin. Mm. It's so good. The barbecue sauce is like the perfect compliment because it doesn't overpower the spice. I don't know. I might put that on the show too. I don't know. I don't know. But Canon takes a lot of work. Putting a spice out versus a sauce or juice is a lot more work. <laughs> so. Bye, guys.